Mm, that's drunk. Alligators from outer space have come to drop some bombs on Earth for some reason, and humanity's only hope are these two totally rad 90s dudes, and they have some big time attitude, and oh gosh, they got their cute little hats, and their headband, and that poor fellow's shirt doesn't quite fit them over there, and oh, it's just darling. Alligator Hunt is an over-the-shoulder gallery shooter similar to games like Wild Guns and Cabal, made in 1994 by the Spanish developer Gilco, who also made the bizarre action platformer Biomechanical Toy, which I took a look at a couple years back. You move left to right on your gnarly skateboards on the bottom of the screen, and when you press the fire button, it locks in your position and switches your joystick controls to a crosshair that you use to aim at anything and everything to make stuff go boom. There's a second button you use to dodge, and a third button that fires missiles instead of your normal weapon. This game wastes zero time getting going. One token gives you one health meter to get through four levels broken up into four or five stages each, and each stage is only about two or three minutes long. It's balls to the wall right from the start. After starting out as totally righteous dudes on skateboards, you eventually get into a ship and you fly through space and eventually traverse other planets destroying giant enemy bases. Your main weapon stays the same throughout the entire game, but you can blow up certain ships and their pilots fly out and sit dazed on the ground. Shoot them as many times as you can to get M icons for extra missiles and S icons for super missiles. Alligator Hunt is just an awesome spectacle of a game. There's explosions everywhere, you can blow up backgrounds and watch stuff burn. Bosses show damage as you fight them, and there's an interesting mix here of sprites with pre-rendered 3D animations. There's also some crazy enemies, like these AT-AT looking things, exploding alligators, this insane looking boss that looks like it'd be Krang's cousin or something. It's a great time, and it's clear a ton of effort and imagination went into this one. The game starts out extremely forgiving, I mean you can shoot projectiles coming at you. The game even calls you a great guy! Hey thanks! The power-ups and points simply sit at the bottom of the screen for a set amount of time, giving you plenty of opportunities to really rack up tons of missiles. But thankfully, the game does ratchet up the challenge the further you progress, and it does so without getting too cheap, the way most arcade games do. This is just good old-fashioned chaos. Concentrate on dodging first while pounding the fire button while occasionally launching some missiles here and there. Beating this game is easy on MAME, of course, but beating it with just one credit is a tough challenge. Adding to the fun here are the cutscenes. There is a ton of poorly translated English throughout this game, and it's fantastic. Yeah, there's a business about me. Dish to the bank. Orders for you. That's a blow. Tell me what's up. First, destroy their computer center. Then, crash their military base. And you'll come back with mutant brains. Good luck, Tyler. Okay, honey, I'm going to smash that. So yeah, Alligator Hunt is a fun time, the visuals are spectacular, the controls are spot on, and the challenge escalates nicely. My only issue with this game is the music really gets annoying after a while since it pretty much sounds like the same song through the entire playthrough. This game is also very short, you can finish this one no problem in something like 25 to 30 minutes, but hey, it's two player co-op and it's a fun challenge to try and one credit this game. It's a very approachable title that's well worth checking out, it was included as part of the Galeco Arcade 1 compilation for Evercade, so check that out if you happen to come across it. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.